Okay, that was um, the Hand of Fate. Hand of Fate by the Rolling Stones. It features on this album, which is called Black and Blue, which is, as far as I'm aware, please correct me if I'm wrong, just about the only audition album um, in history. Now, what I mean by that is after it's only rock and roll, there was a queue a mile long to, to fill Mick Taylor's space. Uh, and we probably all know everyone who, who, who was in the frame. Uh, Roy Buchanan was mentioned, Nils Lofgren, right up until he wrote Please Don't Go. Um, Rory Gallagher famously said he was quite daunted to have to plug in at the auditions, rehearsals, tryouts between Keith Richards and Jeff Beck. Harvey Mandel from Canned Heat and an American guy called Wayne Perkins, who's a fantastic guitar player. And Wayne Perkins actually got the job until at the very last minute, you know, how heartbreaking must this have been? They plumped for Ronnie Wood. And I believe the thinking was, we're a London band and we want to be London boys. You know, and, and fair play to Ronnie Wood, you know, he's, he's still there 40 years later. But Wayne Perkins um, would have fed, in my opinion, right into the Keith Richards, Mick Taylor style of playing. And Wayne Perkins plays on this Hand of Fate song. So I'm going to show, this, 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 is, this is the chords to it, there's a few bits, and then in the next video I'll show you Wayne's solo, and then, then I'll, I'll break it down. So first thing you hear is an A and G chord, just, just like I played there. So the intro is this. Right, there's an overdubbed single note A and G, so you get... Someone else plays. Right? There's lots of ways you can play that, you know, the A to G you could go. Or you could go. Or just a bass note. Or lots of ways. Um, and I think like most songs it's quite important to play the intro so that anyone listening is, is hooked. Now the way I like to play this one, and the way that sounds closest to me, is an A and an A, and then a G chord. So I play. So that's A, G chord. You know, which is just a G and a D, it hasn't got any third in it. And then the C suspended chord. Which you'll obviously recognise from lots of Stone songs. Once the song starts, the main thrust of it is the hand of fate. Plenty of tight. And on the eighth, they play this. The G is the last chord. Now there's a, a sort of bridge section which plays a suspended F chord and it goes. So it's an F suspended, the E minor to C. And then they play the main riff twice. After Wayne Perkins' solo, they go back into the Hand of Fate bit, and then <coughs> it goes into a G section. Which is G and B flat, as you can see. You can play it there if you want. Or Back into it. So you've got this. And that is the thrust of the rhythm parts uh, to Hand of Fate, which only leaves us with Wayne Solo, which is coming up.